Hello everyone and welcome to the Star Sea Dragon channel. Um, I'm doing uh, general readings. Uh, Phyllis was really upset last night because it was raining really hard and when I play with my tarot cards it seems to soothe her. So we're continuing on today um, doing some general reads. So um, she's sleeping happily <laughs> right now um, and we're at Libra so welcome Libra uh, my I was born on the Libra full moon so and I I actually um, am more connected to the uh, my moon sign than I am my sun sign so uh, I present more uh, Libra qualities than I do Aries qualities. So you'll see, I don't know, uh, why I don't shuffle on, um, on camera. I think it's, it's, it just takes so much time because I take jumpers and, um, sometimes it takes, it takes a while. So this is uh, just general energies for the rest of the month of October. Three of Cups, Five of Swords. Three of Cups, Five of Swords. For Libra. And the Hermit. Oh, we're going within. This is an internal um, challenge. Mental challenge. Um, emotional expansion. Yeah, okay. Six of Wands. You're winning at something. Let's find out where it is. I'm using the um, Orion's Animal Tarot. All right. Just so you know. And um, I take whatever cards I get, right? Because I take jumpers. So this might take a while for me to, to divine for you. Um, you'll see that my, my October readings were far more extensive because I took the time out to, um, to meditate over them and really get in tune with them. And th these are just real quick readings. Um, so they're not going to be too in depth. Okay. So do you want me to keep going? No spirit? All right. I'll go to clarifications later. We're going to clarify with the uh, Tarot of a Moon Garden. So let's see what we got. Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Hermit, Six of Wands, Devil, and the Seven of Wands. Well, you need to stand your ground. Keep going and, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't listen to naysayers. For some reason... There's some kind of mental challenge going on here. Maybe um, maybe something that is, you know, it's helping you to expand emotionally. However, it's also a challenge of the mind, right? Wondering, you know, what is real and what isn't. Justice, clarifying the Three of Cups. Well, that, that just tells me that, you know, whatever this decision or this going on inner, inner struggle, justice is on your side. So, um, you'll expand and especially, I mean, you got justice and you got the six of or yeah, the six of wands. So, um, stand your ground. Just stand your ground. Eight of swords. Yeah, this challenge is, you know, self-imposed restriction. This is self-imposed challenge. You're challenging yourself at something. Um, going within, you know, maybe you're doing shadow work. It's a good month to do shadow work because, you know, in the autumn and winter months, 
the veil tends to be thinner because things are slowed down and it's a lot easier. Not that shadow work is ever easy, but it's a lot easier for you to tune into your intuition and, you know, take a deep dive into your subconscious where your soul and your intuition lives um, to be able to shine some light on those, those sh shadows that um, are within us all, right? You can't have black without white. You can't have white without black. You know, you can't have yin without yang. It, we all have two sides to our coins. And, all right. Five of Swords, yep. This challenge is internal uh, within you. And you're the one holding yourself back. So, stop it. You're holding yourself back. The devil is also self-imposed, you know, restriction. You are sabotaging something. Maybe a communication, maybe a connection with someone, maybe um, some kind of creative process. If you're a writer or an artist of any kind and you have like a creative block or a writer's block or something that has to do with that, this is this is within yourself and it's habitual right with that devil it's habitual and only only you can release yourself from it the devil doesn't make us do anything they can get out of those chains if they wanted to right all right so we've got two cards for the six of wands clarification we've got three of pentacles and two of pentacles so this six of wands uh, this victory is finding balance within to expand out into your material world. Maybe you're going to grow into a new job. Maybe you're going to uh, expand out and do a side hustle or become an entrepreneur. Uh, maybe this has something to do with a boss figure or getting a promotion at work. And you may not think that, you know, all up in your head, thinking that you, you're you not good enough for it or qualified enough for it or whatever. But that that's not, holy crap, that's not the truth. Look, look at this clarification of the devil. The Empress and the Nine of Cups. Let me tell you something. So the Empress is not only the Queen Mother, the Goddess Mother, um, that nurturer, but she also knows how to nurture herself. She also knows how to receive. Not only is she a giver, but she knows how to receive. And what is she receiving? Wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that is on your mind that you are going within and beating yourself up, beating yourself up for no reason. This is self-imposed. Um, this clarification is saying, you know, take care of yourself. Your wish fulfillment is on the way. Quit blocking it. Quit blocking your own successes. Quit blocking the reception of um, these gifts that you have been wishing for and waiting for and awaiting their arrival. They're, they're knocking on the door. You need to get out of your own way, right? Um, and I gotta tell you, Libra, every single one of the readings that I've done so far I have, has been heavy hitters. So I don't know if, if someone in the collective needs to hear messages like this or what, but there's a lot of, wow, there's, look at this clarification over here for the Seven of Wands. There's a lot of, uh, oops, sorry, a lot of introspection going on. So we have the High Priestess, the Moon, Strength, and the Page of Pentacles. Yes, the, you know, a new material abundance, right? A new way of seeing things, a new creative material idea, right? A new study um, to help strengthen you um, as you take that deep dive into into things that you don't think you know so well, but 
You really do. You have that knowing. You have that deep knowing with that high priestess. You have that deep knowing. Um, you're going to be just fine, Libra. Uh, I am going to pull a Believe in Your Own Magic um, oracle for you. This is, I don't know, maybe this needs to be a pep talk for you. Get out of your own way, Libra, really. Um, sometimes I, I, I get it, Libra. Libras are notorious for being overthinkers too. Uh, I too am an overthinker and I get in my own damn way all the time. So, um, the key here is with that hermit card going within, looking around and saying, okay, so what am I keeping myself from? Where am I, where am I, where am I? What my walls up that are keeping me from receiving the things that I've been wishing for, that I've been working for, that I've been trying to achieve this whole time. Where are those blockages and um, shine, shine the light on them, right? And get to know and embrace that factor and figure out where it came from, what came from there. Love it, recognize it. Give it the recognition and admiration and hugs and love that it so desperately needs. And then release it, right? Easier said than done. Way easier said than done. But guess what? We are in a time of year right now where it is far easier to do your shadow work. Uh, you know, during this time of year in the autumn and winter months, um, to um, to clear those things out. In the spring and summer, we're we're too busy looking at the light to be able to dig down into the um, what do we get? Escapist, come home to yourself. Oh my God, these are so awesome. But yeah, I mean, you it's it's. Far, far harder in the spring and summer to do shadow work. So take advantage of this time of year. Escapist, come home to yourself. Number 32, I'm going to read from the book. And then I'll get a wild mystic for you, 32. Oh, I turned right to it. Everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. Some of us like to binge watch shows. Some of us like to listen to music. Some of us like to read. And some of us like to leave it all behind and go on vacation. All of that is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful. However, too much escapism can mean that you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Face it head on and let the pieces fall where they may. Beautiful. I couldn't have said it better myself. Let's get you. I just um, reviewed this Wild Mystic. Oh my goodness, that came right out. This Wild Mystic um, Tarot and our Wild Mystic Oracle deck. So what we got. Transfer, transform. Beautiful. Let me read from the book. Four butterfly. You guys are butterflies. Let's see. Butterfly transform. This card represents change and transition. Butterflies have long been associated with transformation due to their elegant transition from caterpillar to butterfly. This card may symbolize a physical transformation. However, the butterfly's association throughout myth and lore with the soul might indicate a deeper, more intrinsic change. Many cultures represent the butterfly as a vessel for a traveling soul, for good or ill omen. The presence of the butterfly in your reading may indicate a choice or transformation after a period of soul searching and the rebirth of the soul with new purpose, form, and meaning. 
in the Sierra Madre Hills, Mexico, the migration of monarch butterflies has taken place around the time of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, the, uh, since pre-Hispanic times. Okay. Many people associate the butterflies with the souls of loved ones returning to families and friends for the celebrations. This card could be seen as a comfort to those who have lost someone. If you believe in an afterlife or rebirth, it is a reminder that these loved ones continue. If you do not, it is a sign that their energy being released into the universe and passing into nature. Shadow reading. When dealing with themes of rebirth and metamorphosis, remember that something must end so that something new may take its place. Caterpillars must destroy themselves, dissolving to become the, butter, the beautiful winged creatures we know. The destruction before a transformation may be difficult, and change can fill one's heart with fear, but this card reminds you that the destination is worth the journey. Libra. Oh my goodness. Libra. That is magnificent. I hope that um, this sang to you in some way. And if it if it didn't sing to you, then it, leave it be. It's not for you, right? But if it did sing to you, all of my loving energy is going to you. Everything's going to be fine, Libra. It's going to be fine. Make those changes. Get out of your own way. It's all good. Justice is on your side. Growth is difficult. <laughs> it's <laughs> very difficult, but um, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you did, leave a comment in this comment section below. Other than that, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next video.